Welcome, welcome to Marine Geek YouTube channel. This is Chief Engineer Swapil Tamankar. And but before we move to the actual video, I need to take some time to speak out from my heart and say thank you. Thank you and thank you for the warmth, the affection and support. I am very happy to proudly say that due to your support, this is the 50th video on Marine Geek channel. We are also celebrating one year anniversary of Marine Geek Channel. And now we are strong family of 3000 plus members and still growing stronger. And let's begin with our new video. How to revalidate your COC if you have no C service, or less C service, or special cases etc. Let's begin. Why to revalidate certificates? The STCW Convention Regulation 1-11 has clearly written that masters, officers and radio operators holding a certificate issued other than Regulation 5-3 or Chapter 6, in order to qualify for seagoing service be required at intervals not exceeding five years. Two standards have to be met to revalidate the certificate or COC, one is to meet medical fitness standards, and second is establish continued professional competence. Revalidation of COC will not be used for revalidation of your tanker certificates or polar water certificates. Renewal of those certificates such as DCE of tankers and polar water will be done separately and not related to the revalidation of your COC. If your COC held is prior to 1st January 2017 under STCW 95 standards, then 6 days or 11 days revalidation and upgradation course to upgrade your COC is a must. Flag State will formulate the RUT course syllabus, which will ensure that masters, officers and radio operators ensures recent changes in national international regulations concerning safety security, environment protection are made available to ships etc. So what is continued professional competence? The candidate should be working in shipping industry actively like ship staff or working in shipping related field not actively but related to shipping such that he knows the working of shipping industry in general. The Engineering Circular number 143 of 2018 dated 26th March 2018 has given some bullet points in how many ways you can revalidate your COC. Some more points have been added compiled by self from MSSTCW rules of 2014 and NT exam circular number 01 of 2018 for revalidation of COC of nautical discipline has also been taken as reference for making this video. Links to download all circulars and appendix are given in the description of this video. So to establish continued professional competences stated in the circulars, is to have at least 12 months of sea service in preceding 5 years. For normal COC revalidation procedure with 12 months of sea service or equivalent shore service or Part C service and part shore service, you can refer to this video on COC revalidation updated procedure September 2021. Link for this video is given in the description. Second method. To have three months of C service within the last six months of COC validity. So if your COC is expiring on 15th October 2022, then candidate has to sail for 3 months, 91 days, within 15th April 2022 to 15th October 2022. The equivalent to seagoing service can also be used to revalidate your COC. This includes full-time technical surveyors, officers working in marine-related jobs, such as maritime surveyors, faculty, superintendents, cargo superintendents, port officers, port engineers, officers serving on offshore rigs and platforms, FPSO, FSO, chartering, brokering or commercial operations, vetting inspectors, ISM auditors, port state and flag state inspectors, shipboard training officers, pilots, etc. for a period of two years. Part-time surveyors or anyone working on part-time are not eligible for this. 
full-time lecturers for a period of at least two years for management level courses, and three years full-time lecturers who have been teaching pre-C four-year or one-year graduate entry courses. Courses have to be actually conducted in these times. Full-time technical superintendents or designated persons for a period of at least three years handling the technical operations. Passing of the oral examination, the orals shall in general be mainly composed of matters relating to safety consisting functions MEP, SSEP, and recent technical legal developments in the field of marine engineering, as commensurate with the grade of revalidation sought, or completing approved training course which is preparatory courses or competency course for the grade of COC concerned or one grade higher. Or having completed approved seagoing service, performing functions appropriate to the certificate held, for a period of not less than three months in a supernumerary capacity. Permission required from DG shipping with more documentations, approval etc. and more given in Appendix 111 F. Or three months in a rank next below to that for which the certificate held is valid. Permission required by DG shipping with company approval and more given in Appendix 111 F. Cases of Part C service or Part Shore service or any other cases not covered above will be decided by the Chief Examiner of Engineers at the Directorate. Service in the Marine Field, in case of lecturers, surveyors, superintendents not listed above to be put up to the Chief Examiner of Engineers for his consideration on a case-to-case -case basis. For the payment of fees, use the Bharatkosh website. The complete detailed information is given in the Bharatkosh video on Marinjeet channel. Link for the video is given in the description of this video. What is the process of revalidation? Get medical fitness also called as medical certificate as per DG medical standards from a DG approved doctor. Prove your professional competence as per any one or more options as discussed in this video. Make all less TCW certificates valid, do refresher courses. Pay online using Baratkosh website a sum of 5000 rupees. Apply by offline method by going to respective MMD in person. I sincerely hope this video has aided in sorting out the doubts and queries regarding what are the different ways to revalidate COC if you don't have C service or less C service or have sure job or sure and C service. How to revalidate your COC in this case etc. Like this video if you haven't done so far. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click that bell notification next to it. Stay safe, stay secure, God bless. This is me, Chief Engineer Sophie Namaskar, signing off.